So Errol Spence Jr. has pulled out of his fight with Manny Pacquiao on August 21st. Due to an injury he has picked up, he has sustained a torn retina, which is a pretty serious injury. And apparently he was told about it during a pre-fight medical. Apparently he's been to three different doctors and they've all told him the same, that he his retina is torn and that he needs surgery ASAP. And apparently he's going to have the surgery tomorrow. So, you know, Godspeed to Errol Spence. I hope he recovers well and I hope to see him back in the ring because this is a pretty serious injury. And if they don't heal correct, Blair, they could be damaging to your career. So I wish him all the best. But I am very disappointed that this fight isn't happening, just like everyone else. I was looking forward to it. It's a fight that was very intriguing. You had the 42-year-old Manny Pacquiao stepping in the ring for the first time in two years. Looking to take on the unified number one welterweight champion in boxing in Neville Spence Jr. An undefeated high level elite fighter. And you also had the chance to see if Evel Spence could end the career of Manny Pacquiao. Could send him into retirement. So it was a very intriguing matchup. So you know it's disappointing. It just seems like boxing is cursed right now. We just can't get any big fights over the line. Like, it started off with the Lopez Cambosis fight. That fell through due to COVID. And then you had um, Tyson Fury and John A. Wilder. Their trilogy fight was cancelled due to COVID. And then recently you've had the Caleb Plant um, Canelo Alvarez fight fall through. All well, the talks fall through. So it's just like we can't get these big fights at the minute. And it's very, very um, disappointing. And don't get me started on like fights. Like Charlo and Andrade and Crawford and Spence, like them fights are not even talked about. Like they're not even close to happening. So, you know, boxing is very disappointing at the minute. Like there's no big fights apart from, let's just say, AJ and Usek. That's a big fight, to be honest. But it's not a mouth watering fight. Like, yeah, it's a good fight. It's a very interesting matchup, but it's not a fight, in my opinion, that's going to really set the world alight. And then you've got the Wilder Fury trilogy. Apparently that's going to happen again on October the 9th. But we'll have to wait and see with that. Because you never know with Wilder and Fury, you know. They haven't fought each other in, what, 18 months. So, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if that fight fell through again. But anyway, enough about that. It's very interesting to see if Manny Pacquiao fights on. After his fight on August 21st. Because he is still fighting. He's taking on WBA champion. Your Dennis Ugas. Who was meant to fight on the undercard. But his opponent. Fabian Maidana. The brother of Marcus Maidana. He pulled out of their fight. Due to an eye injury. So now that Spence has pulled out of the Pacquiao fight. You have. Ugas versus Pacquiao. For the WBA title. The WBA title that Manny Pacquiao never lost. He was stripped of the belt. And Ugas, who was the regular WBA champion or whatever, he was elevated to super champion. So now Manny gets a chance to fight for the WBA title once again. And it's going to be interesting to see what happens with Manny Pacquiao, win or lose against Ugas. Even though I'm expecting him to win, I don't see it as a foregone conclusion. I know a lot of people are saying, who the hell is your Danish Ugas? And who's this guy Manny Pacquiao's fighting? Oh, he's a B-level fighter. Like, your Danish Ugas is a very, very tricky fighter. He's a Cuban. He's just got that tricky, awkward Cuban style. He's been in there with guys like Sean Porter and gave him a hell of a fight. A lot of people felt that Ugas won that fight. And there's been a couple of decisions in his career where the decision hasn't gone his way where it probably should have. And that's why he's got three or four losses on his record. But a couple of them, he maybe should have won. So this is a very interesting fight. So yeah, it's not as compelling as the Evel Spence fight because Evel Spence is the unified champion and the supposed numero uno of the welterweight division. But, you know, you guys, is no walkover. And even though I expect Manny Pacquiao to win probably on points, I do see it being a very competitive fight. And I do see you guys giving Manny Pacquiao some problems because we don't know how good Manny Pacquiao is going to look. Yeah, 
he's looking good in the gym, but you know he still hasn't had a fight in two years. So it's going to be interesting to see how he gets on with a late replacement, a tricky Cuban fighter on 10 days notice after not being in the ring for two years. So, you know, I'll still watch that fight. I still think it's very interesting. I'm seeing people saying things like, oh, I want a refund. And people are entitled to having a refund. You know, if they bought tickets to the fight, obviously they wanted to see Pacquiao versus Spence, not Pacquiao versus Ugas. But at the end of the day, it's a Manny Pacquiao title fight. And in my opinion, I'd still go because how many Manny Pacquiao title fights are you going to see again? You know, this might be his last fight. You don't know what Manny Pacquiao is going to do. Because apparently he's going to run for the president of the Philippines in 2022. Like, he just might step away from boxing. He might fight on Saturday night. Well, not Saturday night. Uh, in a couple of weeks' time. Win, lose, or draw. And say, you know what? I've done enough now. It's time for me to walk away and try and help my country. And try and become president. So, you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. I'm seeing people troll Evel Spence online, calling him a duck and that he's scared and that he's faking the injury. Like, people, I know that you're disappointed, but you just need to calm down and just, you know, think about what you're saying before you get on Twitter and start Twittering with your Twitter fingers and just talking all this craziness because Evel Spence is not scared of Manny Pacquiao. Like, just look out at the guy's... That Evel Spence has fought. Guys like Kel Brook and Danny Garcia and Mikey Garcia and Sean Porter. He's been in there with top level fighters. And yeah, they haven't got the resume and the Hall of Fame career Manny Pacquiao has. But he's still been in there with top level fighters. So it's not a thing of him being scared. The guy's picked up an injury, a serious injury. And he's getting it correct tomorrow. And hopefully we see him back in the ring um very soon and hopefully this isn't a long standing injury and I wish him all the best so yeah comment below what you guys think about this news in the comment section I'm out